हेलो फ्रेंड्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग सुपर आपकी दुआ से आई एम डूइंग सुपर फैंटास्टिक और आज की जो रेसिपी है बहुत ही खास है और ये रेसिपी है गोवा से और इस पे इन्फ्लुएंस है पोर्चुगीज का तो हम आज बना रहे हैं बहुत ही मज़ेदार प्रॉन्स रेशाडो रेशाडो इज अ वर्ड फ्रॉम पोर्चुगीज इट मीन्स स्टफ सो बेसिकली दैट मसाला इज यूज फॉर मेकिंग स्टफ पॉम्प स्वेट बट येस दिस मसाला इज ऑल्सो यूज टू मेक वेरी डिलीशियस प्रॉन रेशाडो बहुत ही जबरदस्त रेसिपी और हम बनाएंगे रेशाडो पॉम्फ्रेट तो मेरे पास यहां बहुत ही मजेदार फ्रेश पॉम्फ्रेट है हाउ डू वी मेक दैट रेशाडो मसाला लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट रेसिपी सो फॉर द रेशाडो मसाला आई हैव फ्राइड कैरमलाइज द अनियंस वेरी वेल हाउ मच अनियन इज दिस दिस इज इन टोटल से फोर मीडियम साइज अनियंस which are sliced and i have fried them nice caramelized them basically okay some of this onion i'm going to use for the masala okay and some will be using later so let's see what the masala is for the rishado i've taken here 10 kashmiri chilies which is soaking in hot water what i'm going to cut open and i'm going to remove all the seeds from the chili and say 1/4 cup we need garlic not this much 1/4 cup garlic we need then we need around say 1 tablespoon ginger i've taken here uh, say 1/4 teaspoon salt i've taken okay i've taken here around half tablespoon sugar okay you can take jaggery also in place of this then i need here few peppercorns cinnamon cloves and half teaspoon whole zeera prawns i have taken uh, prawns i have over here is 350 grams okay and i'm taking stems of coriander so all this i will blend it into a very smooth paste all of this and vinegar i've taken only 50 ml vinegar so half vinegar i will add while grinding and half i'll add later now we'll blend this to a smooth paste and i'll get back to you and to this we will add the fried onions which is a very important part of this recipe taste of the masala is amazing i'm adding the remaining vinegar another 1/4 teaspoon salt i'm adding so i'll blend this and get back here is the fish friends i have dried the fish ensure that there is no water and my masala is blended here this i'm applying one two three tablespoon should be sufficient for this much fish let's see i'm adding Half teaspoon more salt over here, and we'll marinate this fish. I had no plans to make uh, fish rechado. Otherwise, I would have kept the fish whole. What you can do is you can take the pomfret and stuff this masala inside the pomfret, okay, along with some fried onions. and then the remaining little masala apply on the top and then you can fry them now i'm going to keep this aside 
to this you add half teaspoon spicy red chili powder so what i have done friends now this much masala is there okay and i'm adding half tomato tomato is optional in prashado there is no tomato but i'm adding half for some gravy now this remaining fried onions i'm adding to this masala now at this stage if you want you can add more vinegar but i'm going to squeeze juice of half lemon so here the masala is ready we will go ahead and fry this to this i'm adding 1/4 cup oil and this entire masala and this liquid after washing the blender saute this very well i'm adding one teaspoon salt adding some chopped chili which is optional slow down the gas you can see the color of the masala has started changing it will change because of the onions Look at the color. How the color is changing. So I've added around one and a half tablespoon oil. Look at the color. How magically the color is changing. This is the beauty of this recipe. Perfect measurements. I'll be giving in the description box. Don't forget to check that before you plan to make this recipe. Little more. lemon juice and those are vegetarians you know you can make your um, soya chunks in this you can make your potatoes in this i'm sure it will taste heavenly so this is the color we require see the color This is the color of uh, prawn rashado. Some even make it very dark. But according to me, the vinegar that I have added and the sugar, everything is in balance. And uh, green chili is optional. I just don't like anything going waste. Now if you want to keep prawn rashado like this thick in the masala you are most welcome to do that but i am going to keep the gravy little thin i hope you have tried my kadai achari prawn biryani please do try that it's an excellent recipe i will leave the link in the description box do check it out and you can make this masala in bulk like i have shown you for 350 grams prawns you can double this up the masala and because you are adding vinegar in it the shelf life increases it will stay in the fridge for a longer period so i am adding the water here adding here some coriander I 
my prawns here. So I'm going to cover it with the lid and I'll cook this for just two to three minutes. This is done. Okay, so I'll see you in a while. Let's check friends. Prawn rishado is done. Being a little generous with the coriander. We'll keep this aside and we'll fry our fish now. Here is our fish, friends. So to this, I'm adding, I'd added three tablespoon masala, I'm adding one more tablespoon over here. One more tablespoon masala added and we'll give it a nice mix. Okay, and this fish we will coat in rava and rice powder. So rava I have taken two tablespoon and rice I have taken two tablespoon. We'll mix this, coat and we'll fry. So we will coat the remaining paste pieces in a similar manner. will immediately fry them. Here friends, I've kept the fish for frying. With all the experience that I have gathered, what I can tell you and share with you is, if you're frying your fish, first ensure that the oil is hot and the flame is on medium. And once you place the fish, don't touch it. Give it at least four minutes on one side and at the same time ensure that your fish is not burning. That's why you need to keep the flame low and ensure that the oil is hot. Slowly fry your fish on both the sides with sabar. Don't be in a hurry. Your fish will be very crisp. At least three to four minutes each side. Ensure you fry the fish from all the sides. See, I've kept the head standing so that even the bottom fries. I fry the fish from all sides if the slices are thick. You have to do that. You have to keep that patience to fry this fish. Other water is going to happen, your fish will dry. But when you're eating it, all the masala inside will be wet. And I'm sure you don't want that. So follow all my tips and tricks. Some pieces will cook very quickly and some will take time. So in a similar way, I'll fry all the pieces and I'll see you in a while. So friends, the delicious Pomfret reshet is ready. Reshet or reshado, you can pronounce in both the ways. Don't forget to carefully watch the pomfret frying tutorial. And prawn reshet. So friends, I really hope you will enjoy this recipe and you will make this recipe. And if you do, don't forget to tag me on the Instagram. Sorry if the video has been a little long but it was very important to share the tips and tricks of frying a pomfret. I could have shown you this in 3 minutes but I'm sure that would not have helped many of you out there. If there is anything that you have liked on this video, 
then like share subscribe to banta hai so don't forget to subscribe my channel and motivate me and help me to grow my channel and take very good care of yourself and be safe and until we meet next don't forget to eat love and pray bye